Hey, what's up guys? So a few months ago, I was in this area recording a video about the car behind me which we bought to make our life in astrophotography easier. And I also said that I was going to add some mods to it. So I did and... Uh, yeah, Antoine did and I don't really know what they do either. So he's going to go ahead and explain it to us. But you will see they're all uh, very smart for this hobby to make us you know, go out in the wild and image much easier. Okay, so first we have a LED light bar here. Uh, no, I'm not some kind of truck guy with a you know, bunch of lights everywhere, but this is actually going to be very useful when we uh, not only image, I mean, pack up, but also when we drive into, you know, ball one zones in like tiny roads and as well as our videos. So when, now when we do a video, we can use this light at night to light us up and have a better, you know, less noisy video for you guys. I am really bad with anything electrical, so thanks to my friend Jorge for helping me wire, cut, solder, and power the light. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> then we have those red thingies here on top, and this is actually Max Tracks, so we have two of these. And if we ever get stuck in like snow or mud or whatever, we can actually grab those two and put them under the tires here and we'll get unstuck. So Dahlia is actually really happy with this because she she's always feeling unsafe out there, but now we cannot get stuck anymore. These are pretty easy to mount, and I think they look nice at the front like that. And then uh, here we have two boxes, and in there we have our sleeping bags, and I think pillow and like a, a mattress which is really nice for um, you know, if you have to sleep in the car at any point. I'm going to add two boxes, so one box here and one box over there, just because if you look in the trunk, for example, here I have my tripod, here I have my camping bag, so to sleep in it, here is a blanket for the cold, and then over there I have a mattress. So this is really annoying because it flies around, and so I want to put a box on the top here, on each side, so I can put my sleeping bag in it, and also uh, some other stuff I may have. So I bought two of these cheap boxes from Home Depot. If you look inside, there's a bunch of little compartments here. Here I plan to put my sleeping bag. So to put it on the roof rack, I actually drilled four holes uh, yesterday. And so today I'm going to attach it on the roof rack using those screws. So let's do it very really quick. And then uh, we have two more things only. Uh, first, this you know, stupid thingy here, it's like a, a bottle opener, which we actually probably never use. And then, oh, of course, the most important, the, the, the roof rack, which is pretty low profile, which I like. And uh, there is some wind noise, which is pretty annoying, but um, it's holding everything else, so it has to, be, has to be there. The roof rack came with a million screws and it took a while to build. I also almost dropped it off the table when filming this. And then one uh, very important thing, which I'm very happy about, is this over here. So I'm guessing you can guess what's under there. Let me just quickly open this. Close your eyes. Do do do. Okay, and then here, if you didn't guess, is actually a table. So uh, now we can, at any time when we image, Grab this table from here, just like that. Oh. I put it in the wrong way so the leg is stuck. Okay, just like that. And we can use that table for you know, preparing our camera, preparing our laptop, and pretty much using our laptop. It also is very noisy. So Sounds can, gross, works great. Yeah. We can now uh, use this table for uh, laptops and maybe eating too. So it's great to have and it fits just under the roof rack. And then yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, that's all we added for now. If you have any idea on uh, what we could add to it to make our life even easier, um, yeah, tell us, let us know. But I think this is, you know, the basics for us to really have a much easier um, astrophotography night every single time. 
So thanks for watching this video. Uh, we hope it was interesting for you guys. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. And class guys.